This is the book of Revelations, chapter 3, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come, up, come upon all the world, to try them that dwell uh, upon the earth. Okay? This is 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. I want to give all honor, all glory, all praise unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. Shalom to you brothers out there that are laboring, enduring the elements, making your body a living sacrifice while trying to seal the elect, and making your calling and election assured, seeking out your own salvation. To you sisters out there that are learning, listening, applying, being obedient to your husband. Shalom, shalom, okay? And, uh, I just wanted to uh, go into this quick lesson. I don't want to be long, but uh, just a few videos, couple precepts, you know, not very long at all. Uh, quick hit, but uh, just going into the MOTB. Anytime something um, pop up, a couple videos, you, you know, uh, or links, articles, anything, you know, we want to uh, get right on it because that's what it's about. We prophesying. This is one of those prophecies that we're waiting on. You know, this is one of the big, big prophecies as well. Okay. Okay, and this first article here it says this Chinese company wants to make payments with the with, with a wave of the hand. All right, and this was back on the 22nd of May, 2023. All right, Chinese tech and gaming and gaming giant uh, Tencent uh, has launched a new palm-based recognition service in China for its WeChat uh, Pay service. Tencent-owned WeChat Pay. pay has been testing the feature using palm print uh, payment devices in China for several months now, all right? The feature allows consumers to use their palm prints to pay by waving their palm over a scanner, South China Morning Post reported. This new type of biometric ver verification involves distinguishing different palms which require it to analyze the visible lines and also the veins beneath the skin, wow. Hey, this is something, man. All right. And I got this other article here, and it says residents in China can now pay using the palm of their hands. All right. And this was back on the 6th of June. Okay. Citizens can now, now have the capability of paying for items using the palm of their hands and leaving their phones and wallets at home. Wow. On May 21st, WeChat Pay released a palm payment method which allows users to complete transactions by waving their hand over a device. And we know ultimately, uh, you know, this technology, you know, uh, if they if they got this base, you you bet you that Babylon has it. You know, Babylon has been microchipping people, okay, and, and making payments. They've been doing that for, for a few years now, all right? This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 3 and verse, uh, or ha Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 3, okay, Salakia. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will, it will surely come, it will not tarry, all right? So, you know, uh, we're just letting you know this is the vision. The vision is the MOTB, and we know that uh, ultimately it's going to uh, come out this way, you know. And this is how they'll, they'll, they'll push that thing, you know, upon the world and upon the people. All right. This is the book of uh, Revelations chapter 13 verse, uh, verses 16 through 18. All right. And he calls of all both small and great rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, say he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is the wisdom. Let him have understanding, count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, which his number is 600, three score and six. And that's uh, basically 666, all right? You know? So these Moabites are something, man, but they following in the ways of Babylon, too, you know? Uh, which actually I can bring out a precept that goes into that. All right. Just give me a second as I can get it pulled up for you guys. Uh, 
Let's see if this is it. All right, this is 2 Ezra chapter 15, and I'm going to start at verse 46. All right, and it says, And thou, Asia, that are partaker of the hope of Babylon, and art the glory of her person, okay? Woe be unto thee, thou, uh, Salakia, okay? Thou, thou wretch, because thou hast made thyself like unto her. And see, that's how Moab uh, uh, rose, okay? And has decked thy daughters in whoredom, that they might please and glory in thy, uh, thy lovers, which have always desired to commit whoredom with thee. Thou hast followed her that is hated in all her works and inventions, okay? So all the devices and inventions of Babylon, you know, this, uh, they're hated, um, you know, they're, and they're hated, you know, but Moab has followed, followed her in all her, uh, that is hated in all her works, all right? Therefore saith God, he says, I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence to waste our houses with destruction and death. Hey, and they got some of the highest uh, COVID rates over there too right now, you know. You know the scriptures also says Moab is his uh, wash pot, okay? All right, and the glory of thy power shall be dried up as a flower, and the heat shall arise that is sent over thee. Thou shalt be weakened as a poor woman with stripes, and as one chastised with wounds, so that the mighty ones and lovers shall not be able to receive uh, receive thee. All right, and I think that's all I'm gonna read on that. But yeah, but yeah, man. Um, pretty much, uh, you know, Moab, man, is is out here, uh, you know, uh, pushing this MOTB, you know. Residents in China can now pay using the palm of their hands. Wow. All right. So, uh, you know, the scriptures tell you, uh, you know, like it says in the book of Revelations, let no man take thy crown. OK, you know, uh, you know, these devils are going to try to mark you, whether it be your hand or your forehead. You know, you got Neuralink with uh, and we have I've done lessons on that. Countless lessons going into uh, Elon and, and um and Neuralink and what that's all about, you know, you know, they just got, they got approved, you know, to where they can try it on humans. All right. On people, you know, which we, you know, we believe through the spirit, them devils has already been doing it, but now they got that green light to where they can sh justify it, you know, when, cause you know, people, it's going to be made public, you know, what they're doing. Okay. But you know, you got to resist this devil. All right. So Lord willing, this was edifying, you know, quick, quick, straight to the point, uh, quick hit lesson all right but lord willing it was that a fine i want to give all honor all glory all praise unto yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem rakakwadash double honors to the elders of the nation of israel shalom to you brothers and sisters out there to the next one shalom so look at this you're in london you're on a business trip, you're staying in Greenwich, and you want to buy some food. So you go into the local oldies, like this one, and you think, I'm going to go in here and buy some food so that I can feed myself. And then you approach the barrier, and look, you can't even get in the shop without having a QR code to scan here or to scan here and then you can go and buy things now this looks to me like the beginning stages of the digital prison that we keep talking about what do you think yes i have an rfid chip in my hand that's used as a key to unlock basically everything in our house obviously i just use my hand to get into the house and this is the main area which we live in. As you can see, the door is locked because it's red. Scan it. Hey, Chip Hop. We've got these doors and functions all around the house. This one's to our bedroom. And before you say, no, you don't. I got nothing up my sleeve, guys. Like, it's my hand. And during quarantine, Mike and I made these prototypes where we chip locked our furniture. This is definitely a prototype because, <laughs> because it's not perfect. But I can unlock my nights. I can lock my office. We've got these all around the house. And even my desk. Look at it. Why would you chippy your whole house?
Because it's a proof of concept. And we're a really techie and innovative family. Wait, chip up.